Uh, we're back to discuss The Forest, and if you watched our review, we hated the movie. Um, <laughs> to get into a little bit more of why, I mean, it's... The, the first, like, 15 minutes are... They felt like a previously on The Forest. It felt like... I'll tell you what it felt like to me. <laughs> back about 15 years ago when they would have, like, really bad opening... Like, let's do a bunch of... Uh, opening scenes for a video game just to make it feel like there's a story sure. that's what it felt like to me yeah or and the, the other way of uh, of describing it would be if you watch the movie like on blu-ray yeah and then you you started a featurette yeah and it like quickly took you into like the beginning of the movie the uh -huh. beginning of the plot yeah that's what it felt like it was all these like quick cut like Something's wrong. She's out there. I gotta go. Oh, she's in Japan. Well, she's done this before. I'll wait till tomorrow morning. Okay. All right. Let's. And, and like every one of those. The whole is script a cut. was that way the whole way through, though. But, but every one of those is a cut to yeah. another like scene. Like, su you know, supposedly some amount of time later, she goes to Japan. She, they, you know, they <laughs> they jump scare at the car. They jump scare in the like weird morgue slash grocery store that she goes to and then <laughs> she finally finds that? the guy that's like <sighs> that ends up taking her into the the forest with the the ranger um and yeah like everything that they show you like there's there's never anything that's really okay so there's there's the jump scares that happen before you get into the forest, and then once you're in the forest, everything that happens is either a dream or it's actually fake, right? It's actually in her head. Mm -hmm. The things that are supposedly scary, yes. The things that are supposedly scary are all in her head, 100%. There's no conspiracy. There's no there's there's no outside force that's like going against her in this movie it's just her own head and she accidentally slits her wrists and dies <sighs> he, and i knew it when she was like cutting the like like trying to pry the oh yeah off. she was it's gonna like, die yeah. yeah she's gonna cut her yeah it was and, so bad the thing that killed me was like Two scenes previous, she was like, it's all in my head, it's all in my head, it's all in my head. He, She begs the dude to save her life, and as soon as she's out, she's like, I can't trust you. Right. Like, right back to it. What and it's, in the hell? Well, and that's part of the deal, too, of, like... Because part of my argument, too, would be that, like, the, the death of the parents is spoiled immediately. The second that they go through that scene, and she doesn't see it but the sister does but we as the audience see like mm -hmm. half of it yeah. we also hear the two gunshots yeah. like the two shotgun blasts it's clearly it's like shotguns. clearly shotguns um and they're not in their yard they're in like a ha in a room mm -hmm. so we all know that but like when they finally reveal all of that it's not very graphic and it's all it's also one of these things where again when i'm talking about like the sliding scale of how like <laughs> good or bad this movie is. Yeah. This is a PG-13 jump scare horror movie. Yeah. It it is it is a subset of of horror um and you know those like middle-aged women that were sitting in front of us that were jumping in every jump scare Actually having screaming. a great time and screaming. Yeah. That's that's who it's for. That's the target audience. And I don't know what they were drinking before they got in there that they were really that they wanted it to be that way, I guess. They I, they wanted to do that. <sighs> they, they they went in wanting to do that. So, hmm. yeah. the girl was never there. It's always the same. Oh my god! So stuck in a forest, <laughs> all alone. <laughs> I it was just so awful. <laughs> yeah, I wished I, I was in the forest. And, at that and point. I, I'm just gonna say, I think this was. The script was bad. Don't get me wrong. It Every, was. Everything that they said in the entire script was so on the nose. Exactly. It was not. It was never like done with any sort of mystery whatsoever. The only time they really had any sort of mystery was the part where she's telling one story and they're talking about another story. They had a car accident. No, what we really see is they go down the basement and see mm -hmm. the suicides. I thought that scene was actually really that, well done. That's the only part of the whole movie that might have been worth watching. The rest of it, she couldn't act. 
I at no one point thought, oh, this is someone who is scared that her sister has died or is going to, she's going to find her sister in an emergency situation. She shows up in Japan and goes window shopping. Mm -hmm. She shows up in Japan and flirts with a guy at a bar. Mm -hmm. At no one point in any of that did I think, even, even with the bad script, a good actress might have made you feel like she had something going on in the back of her head. Mm -hmm. And I never felt that. Yeah, and I... I would say that if I didn't know Natalie Dormer's capabilities, yeah, I would say this was a poorly acted film. <laughs> I honestly think it's I, I think most of the blame for this movie rests on the director. I really do. I think they Could took be. a schlock a schlock script and took the first take of whatever they got and you know, like, I don't think Natalie Dormer would watch this movie and be proud of what oh, she God. did. You know? No. I, I don't think she was challenged by it. I don't think the director was, like, you know, trying to put her in the best light. It was just, all right, well, we got to shoot this bar scene. <laughs> we got, like, ten minutes, and then um, the yeah. sun's coming up. We got to get back into the forest because yeah. we only got $10,000 to spend on this uh, on this part of the movie. So, yep. Yeah. And it was PG-13, so we didn't see very much of Natalie Dormer. <laughs> it's just you see a lot I mean, more lots of, Game of Lots of screen time. <laughs> well, in the Tudors, yeah, that's kind of where she started. But mm. All right. That was The Forest. Just don't. Um, <laughs> if you like the way we do these, please like the video, subscribe, check out all the written and video reviews at DaleMaxfield.com, and thanks for watching. <laughs>